is St. Gregory with this wonderful pyramidal hat, and the Holy Spirit in the form of the dove is whispering into his ear to dictate to him the sound of Gregorian chant, um, which is very interesting because some people believe that Gregorian chant goes back to Pythagorean and Greek times, but is some people have actually said it's the greatest treasure of Christianity. Gregorian chant has the most immediate effect on the soul. I have actually a very beautiful quotation by St. Gregory, which I'd quite like to, to, to read you because it, it is a sign of, of the uh, sort of universality that was, was, was embraced by the School of Chartres. They really were very keen to, to understand God as being not only omnipotent but omnipresent. And whenever any group of people talk about God being omnipresent, they're accused of being um, polytheists or, or pantheists, which is the most strange thing. But what, what St. Gregory you said was, the... you can't grasp the totality. Yes. I mean, yes. what, the, what the Oriental philosopher would say, well, what isn't God? Yes. Which, of course, is another way of saying that everything is God. Everything is God. But here, St. Gregory wrote, God is both one and the same and holy everywhere, imminent, within everything, without everything, above everything and below everything. Oh, beautiful. So it is, couldn't be more comprehensive and simple.